I did not know that this man was married. Anytime that I was ever around DeVito, it was for one or two things. What's up guys, welcome back. Just since yesterday, DeVito have been on trend over a lady who had made a post of him, a picture of him in a bathroom taking a snap. This picture made it a trend while calling on DeVito of cheating Chioma and people asking how is Chioma keeping up with this whole thing. After a few seconds, the picture trended. Another video was also released online, which this lady is actually saying that it was not her that released the video. Instead, her friend did the releasing. She did caution her friend over it that it wasn't necessary, but her friend said she released it because Nigerians were coming after her while bashing her for having something to do with a married man. She came on this live video to explain everything while saying that she didn't know that Davido was a married man. She also stated that she had known Davido for the past four years and explained that uh, she helps Davido whenever she comes to uh, travels outside the country for gigs in booking uh, clubs uh, for performance and also she's also a stylist and styles Davido most of the time whenever he's in the state and also other celebrities. So at this point, everyone's messaging me. They're talking crazy to me. Come and call me B, H's, all types of stuff, okay? I did not know that this man was married. Anytime that I was ever around DeVito, it was for one or two things, okay? And it's because I'm either styling him for an event because that's what I do. I also help guys, I style people, okay? Whether it's athletes, whether it's rappers. Anyway, I, I'll go to the mall and I'll put you something together, okay? I will. I do that or another thing is I would help him with bookings so whenever he would come into Atlanta I know all the club owners I would call around hey the Beatles gonna be in town do y'all want to book him for a night and you know that's another way that I was able to make money I would book him somewhere I would make of course a percentage for booking him and that's it right so at this point I have never seen a wife um, I had only ever seen a baby mama. She went further to apologize for actually posting this particular picture that started this whole controversy by disclaiming that she wasn't the one that posted the video in particular, which is in a way making mockery of the video. Her excuse for posting this particular picture was that she was drunk and never knew what she was doing, only for her to be called up that she's trending over a picture she posted. Me and DeVito are still friends. He understands that I made a mistake. I was drunk. Um, he understands that even with the video, I didn't have control over that. I posted something I didn't intentionally mean to post and I just wanted it to go away. Right now, what I wanna say is that I didn't post the video. I didn't give permission for that video to be posted. I do not wanna speak on the contents of the video or where it came from or what it was about because I just don't want to and I don't have to. I'm not mad that she posted the video. I am upset that I specifically said, do not post anything. If you wanna argue with people in your messages, do it all day. But when that video got posted, it opened up a whole nother door that I myself was not prepared for. She went deeply to apologize to Africans, most especially Nigerians for making things turn out this way. Why making excuse for her friend for Nigerians to actually come to her friend's DM while banting her. She had no other option than to post that video, which is causing this whole chaos. Like I said, I want to say sorry to all the Africans for the roaches comment from a fellow friend who was just on there trolling back because you guys were sitting there messaging them, harassing them, expecting them to say nothing. If you got thousands of people on your page talking crazy to you, you just going to sit there and say nothing? Everyone's not like me. Everyone's not just gonna let it go. So family, what's your take about this whole thing about the video trending over a lady again? In case you're yet to understand the video that was trending, it was a video the video begging and what he was begging for is what we don't know. Nigerians have twisted the whole thing saying he's begging for, you know, knacks or other things. But that's just a fallacy. Is it just a friend or business or is there something to all this? I must say, being a celebrity isn't easy, that is what you have to understand. And not just a celebrity, a rich one for that. Women will come, things will happen. And do you blame the video for this or the lady in question? Drop your comments, catch you in our next upload as I give you updates. Bye for now.